Hi, so based on my last video, um, I, you know, I mentioned clock math in it, um, but I found a really good level one puzzle that involves a lot of clock math, or you can actually use a lot of clock math if you'd like. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll complete this puzzle using clock math as much as we can. So if, I, if you take a look, there's actually, I believe, nine sections of this puzzle that can be solved using clock math. So um, each of these areas is eligible to be, um, to be solved using clock math. So, um, so the first one we'll look at here um, is this box up here. So once again, what clock math is, is the ability to add up your numbers um, anytime you go above 10, you reset back to zero. Uh, and then you can, when you have your final sum, you get to your number, um, like five. So if you have a one at the end, you need four to get to five. Uh, if you have a seven, then you have uh, eight to get to five. So, um, and then depending on the section, if it's a 45 cage versus a 90 or a 180, um, then you'll be going after midnight. So then you'll have the scenario where, let's say you have um, a three, you'll need seven to get to zero. And if you have seven, you'll have three to get to zero. So anyway, let's look at it in action. And you know, you can go to this puzzle, 4584, and solve these sections for yourself. So here we have you know, one, two, three, and seven, which is um, zero. And that gives us a five, two. One thing you could have added this up really quickly saying, you know, this is obviously 33 plus seven, which is 40, and that gets you to five. Uh, over in this section here, we have zero, eight, and one, but you know, we're overflowing into another box. So in that scenario, because we have a one, we want to get back to, to the number five. So you're going to subtract six to get there. So that's your answer for this for this box here will be a six. Um, down in this bottom left-hand corner, uh, we'll do the same thing. So we'll do, um, this will be one, eight, nine. So because we have a nine, this will be a four. This will be a two, one because of the two up here. Uh, in the bottom right-hand corner, we do, I, I like to try to find ones that add up to zero as much as possible. So you can quickly do that and say, well, this is zero. So that means this is eight which means this is a seven and this is a two. Um, looking at this whole bottom section here, uh, we can do the clock math again to figure out what this square is. Um, so we do one, four, three, nine, zero, nine, six, eight, one, two, nine, zero, four, seven. So because this is a seven, this will be a three because this is a 180 combo. Um, doing the same math up above, we can do this. So we go one, two, three, four, five, eight, five, uh, four, two, nine, five, three, six, zero, six. So this ends up being a four. Uh, going across, we can do clock math here if we want. So this would be seven, six, and three. So now this is a two. We could have done the math easily in this box, but show, just showing you how clock math would work. Um, and if you remember, the, this here could be used, solved using clock math as well. But because we've already filled in these two squares, you can actually do clock math using these two squares by saying that this is a total of eight uh, plus six, so that would be four, plus one is one, uh, plus seven is one, uh, and then seven. So now this number here has to be an eight, and this is a one. On the other side, you can do you know, four plus two is six. This makes it zero, plus four, um, plus four is eight, so that means that this number here will be a seven and this will be a six. So once again, we could have, we could have added all of these squares up, but I don't, I don't really see a point to doing so in this specific scenario. So anyway, that helps get us moved along pretty nicely 
in this puzzle. So now we know that this is um, a 1, 5. And this is a 1, 2. So now our 1 is going to be one of these two squares. Here we have a 9, 8. So this is a 9, 7. This is a 9, 8. See what else we can do. Oh, this is one two, so this is a three four. This will be a five six. Um, this is a one two also. So this will be a two one like so. This will have to be a one here because the thirteen square can't support a one. Uh, the seven square is the only box or the only cage inside of the one box that can support a one. So this will be a one six. And that means our one that we talked about over here will be in the eleven cage here. Um, Oh, and we also know that this was 3, 4, so this is going to be 5, 4. Uh, this will be a, th a 3, 4, so this will be like so. Uh, this is a 1, 5, 1, 2. Uh, so this is 10 remaining, so this is going to be 7, 3. This will be 2, 6, which means this is 2, 1, and 1, 5. Uh, 6, 2 will go here. Um, so this is a 15... Um, and both of our nines are blocked, so this is going to be 8, 7, like so. Um, here we have a 6, 8, 9. Uh, I don't see anything immediately that helps us fill that in right now. The 6 is burned. Uh, oh, actually, so no, 6 and 8 are both burned. So this is a 9, and this will be 6, 8 here, um, which makes this an 8, 9 this way. Uh, so our other 9 will be in the 14 cage here. So this will be a 5, 4, or 5, 9, sorry, 5, 9, uh, and this will be a 3, 9. Oh, and the 1, 2, and the 6 means that this is a 4, 5. And this was a 5, 6, and yeah, that doesn't tell us anything quite yet. 1, 2, 3, 6. So this is a 3, 5, so it'll be 5, 3 like so. Um, this will be the 4, 7, so our other 7 is missing. It has to be here because it can't be a 2, 7. Uh, our other 7 will be here with a 4, and then we'll have 4, 9 this way. So this will be a 5, 6, and... 2, 8. So that means our 8 and 6 are here, uh, giving us a 9, 5 this way. So it'll be 3, 7. So this guy here is what? 5, 6, right? So 5, 6, like so. Um, this will be 4, 5. And then, so this is 3, 9, and 8, 6. So this can't be 5, 6, so this has to be 6, so this has to be 8. One of these is 6, 8, so this is 6, 8. This is 5, 9. Sorry, my mouse is stuck. Come on, mouse. There we go. Um, 1, 3 this way. This here will be, uh, this is 3, 8 here, so this will be 8, 3 like so. This is 3, 9. This will be 9, 2. And then over here we have four and three. So, um, so once again, th this puzzle is a really good one for um, practicing your clock math. So I highly recommend, if you're new to it, to um, to actually solve this puzzle using clock math on your own. Uh, and you should get really familiar with it after doing this puzzle. So hopefully you found this entertaining. And uh, if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks.